Hello everyone and welcome to Yin Yoga with Matt. I hope you had an amazing Easter weekend and you're ready to jump back on the mat with me. And I've been asked by one of my subscribers to do a class with a yoga wheel. So I ordered one through Amazon and I got it actually today. And I've looked at how we can incorporate this prop into our yin yoga practice. So I'm going to give it a try today with you and dive into this class and uh, let you know how it feels. And hopefully this is something we can start using. So if you don't already have a yoga wheel, uh, there's going to be a link below in the video description on where to get it on Amazon. They have tons of selection, but I'll just show you which one I got there so let's just dive right into it so for today's practice you're going to need the yoga wheel and two blocks so keep them nearby and we're just going to start by placing ourselves at the top of the mat because we're going to be rolling backwards with this wheel so we want to leave ourselves a bit of space and from here sitting at the top we're going to place the wheel in the middle of the yoga mat and lower ourselves so that it lands on our upper back. And if it's like a little too low, you can roll forward until you can kind of support your, the top of your spine and your head, just like I'm doing. And then we're gonna bring the sole of our feet together and go into supported fish position, exactly like this. So let's just close our eyes. Let our back rest on top of the wheel and allow gravity to do the rest. So for me today, this is all about just having fun and exploring a new prop that I haven't been using before. So I'm happy to share this class with you and see how it goes. So I'm just settling my mind at peace, slowing down my breathing, allowing my body to open up and be receptive to today's end practice. And just taking my time with this, enjoying every moment of it. On your next exhale, you can grab both knees with your hands and 
close them very slowly, bringing back your upper torso to a 45 degree angle like I'm doing right now. And just taking a moment here to relax. So we're gonna be transitioning from here to supported bridge. So we're gonna be rolling this way very slowly but you got to be mindful about what you're doing here so you don't start rolling and flip all the way over so from here we're gonna lift our hips up and we're gonna start rolling the wheel to the middle of our back by extending our legs and once our legs are all the way extended like this this acts like a counter lever so we don't flip the other way and then we're gonna allow our upper body to come down just like I'm doing. And then we can extend our arms and our legs and support ourselves on the head, the top of our head like this. So you might have your arms like I have them or support yourself a little bit if you feel that's easier. I like to put them out in front like this for support. Here, we're just going to bring our knees to a 90 degree angle and roll ourselves just a bit more so that we land on our upper backs like this. Going into a deeper stretch in our low back. You can have your palms resting on the ground. You can put them on your chest using your shoulder blades for support and the back of your head. This is a lot more intense than using the block, so do what you can and feel free to get out of the asana at any point in time.
from here, we're just going to wiggle our shoulder blades forward a bit, rolling the wheel all the way down to our sacral bone. And then we're going to lift our legs up just like this, allowing our low back to be supported by the wheel so that it lands right in the curve at the bottom of our spine. And when you're ready to come out of this position, I'm gonna show you how I do it. So I'm just gonna be bringing my legs a little bit more above my head to release the pressure of the wheel. And then I just push it forward so that I can come all the way down like this. And the wheel will land in between my legs. So from here, we're just gonna go all the way up to the seated position, placing the wheel at the front of our mat. And I'm just gonna invite you to go into all fours. So from here, we're just gonna do a bit of cat and cow. So we're gonna inhale, curve our spine, draw our belly button down, exhale, push through our arms, round our spine, chin comes in contact with the chest. And we push up, inhale, curve, look up, draw the belly button down, exhale, push through your arms all the way up. 
three more times, inhale, curve the spine, exhale, push through the arms, inhale, all the way up again, exhale. Last time, and push through the arms, exhale. And then we're going to come back to neutral. So using the wheel in front of us, we're going to bring it so that we can kind of roll our forearms and go onto our elbows. So let's try to see how we can get this to work. And then you can put your arms on top of your head like this. So we just want to kind of curve the spine, stretch the tricep and allow ourselves to settle into this. So you might want to roll the wheel a little bit more forward, a little bit more back, find what works for you. So you can hold this. Put your forearms one on top of the other and roll forward and just stretch your spine and shoulders a bit like this. Get a nice stretch in the chest, the shoulders, the spine. So we're just going to take a moment placing the wheel aside to go to wide knee child's pose. So we're going to bring the knees to the outside edges of our mat, touching our big toes together and start walking our hands forward and coming all the way down onto the floor. Getting into this very restful asana. After all the work we just did with the wheel, allowing us a little break here to relax.
And when you're ready, you can start pushing through your arms, walking them very slowly backwards, racing your upper torso and closing your knees. Just taking a little moment here to relax. And from here, we're going to bring the wheel back to the mat and grab our two blocks. And we're going to place them side by side like this, putting the wheel in front of us, which is going to rest the back of our calf on it. And then we can place the blocks forward and roll the wheel so that we go into a side, kind of a split like this. So you should feel a nice stretch in your right hamstring, but also at the front of your left hip flexor. So this is kind of intense, but it feels good. And you kind of need the blocks for support to help you settle into this and keep your balance. So you want to sink your lip, your hips, sorry, forward and low. Find your edge. And then just hold it here. can move your hips backwards, pushing through your arm, walking the blocks back. That might feel good to just stay here like this and stretch your hamstring a little bit, taking a moment to release the left hip flexor. And then we can take our leg off the wheel. Now we're gonna place it in front in line with our left leg placing the blocks on each side for support. I'm gonna invite you to just roll the wheel and set yourself up just like this. And once you're ready, you can bring the blocks forward, rolling that wheel with the calves and extending your right leg, getting a stretch in your right hip flexor this time. So the, the wheel requires a bit of balance. It's not as easy and supportive as other props. But it's, I, I like it, it's very interesting. It allows me to feel certain things that I don't usually feel. Like this asana right now, never done this one. And it feels great.
you're ready, you can move your hips back. Slowly place the blocks back in the middle. Go into this gentle hamstring stretch, which feels really good. And then we can roll off the wheel. And I'm gonna be placing the wheel aside because we're done with it for today. So now I'm gonna settle into pigeon pose. So going back into all fours, we're just gonna bring the left knee behind the left wrist, grabbing into our right ankle and then shifting her left chin towards the front of our mat. And then it feels good to just stay like this a moment, extending our right leg back and flat onto the floor. I'm just gonna take a moment here to relax. And when you're ready, can place a block underneath your left glute. I'm going to invite you to lower yourself down onto your forearms. And then you can bring both palms one on top of the other and bring your forehead to the back of your palms. Just like I'm doing right now. come all the way up very slowly moving the block aside and bringing that left leg back onto all fours might feel good to just wiggle your hips left to right here taking a little moment and then we're gonna bring 
the right knee behind the right wrist, extending the left leg, grabbing our left foot with sorry, our right foot with the left hand and moving the shin forward. Then you might want to place the block underneath your right glute. And just take a little moment here to settle into this. And then you can lower yourself down onto your forearms, opening up your elbows, palms one on top of the other, and then bringing your forehead to the back of your hands. Focusing back onto your breathing and slowing everything down. And we can slowly push through our arms, come all the way up, moving the block aside, and bringing our leg back onto all fours. And then you might want to just cross your ankles, roll down onto your butt, and we're going to be making our way all the way down onto the floor. So from here, I'm going to invite you to just wiggle your legs slowly left to right, releasing your low back and your hips. And 
And then from here, you might want to just bring your knees in, tuck them a little bit. Take a little moment here, a few breaths. And then we're going to bring them up in the air and grabbing the exterior side of our feet, we're just going to pull down and open up our inner thighs and groin area, trying to keep our low back in contact with the floor. Closing our eyes and allowing gravity to do the rest. And from here, we're going to bring our legs back in, bringing them onto the ground, and then making our way down to Savashna. Taking some space on our mat, lying down completely still, and just noticing how we feel now compared to when we started earlier today. like to thank myself for the, taking this time out of my day to do something that's beneficial for my health. So you should do the same and be proud of yourself today for joining me on the mat.
So when you're ready on your own time, you can open your eyes and make your way to the seated position with me very slowly to conclude today's class. That feels wonderful. So I wanted to thank you for joining me on the mat today. And um, this yoga wheel is really interesting and awesome. It was my first time ever using it. And I did it recording this live class with you. So it's definitely a great tool, something I'm going to start using more in my classes from time to time. Uh, today I've been able to go to places I've never been before within my body, so I was really reaching out and pulling and various connective tissue and fascia that I haven't been pulling on before, so it felt like I was actually expanding my horizon within my own body, so I really like it and I hope you did as well. Like I said, I'm going to try to use it more and it's all more challenging because it requires balance since it kind of wiggles a bit but with time I'm sure we're all going to build the stability we need to use it really efficiently throughout the classes so if you like the classes that I've put together please subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed uh, share this class with your friends and family member or you can even donate to my PayPal account which is always very much appreciated and thank you for all of you who have done that so far I really really appreciate it so let's close our eyes you can touch your index and thumb finger together resting the back of your palms on your knees and just refocusing on our breathing so try to see within your body if there is any last bit of tension that you feel right now and if there is i'm gonna uh, invite you to bring your attention to that specific area of tension that is remaining and if there's none well that's great so I'm gonna invite you to take one big inhale as big as you can filling your lungs all the way and your belly to be real full of air and on the exhale Exhale very slowly and imagine that tension leaving your body as your shoulders are becoming weightless and your shoulder blades are dropping. And once you're done exhaling, you can open your eyes back. So until next time, uh, I really enjoyed you being part of this class with me today. Hands to the heart and namaste. See you on the next class. Bye.